Tonight, roughly 300 Americans trapped in Sudan are on their way to safety. A convoy of at least a dozen buses making a harrowing 500-mile journey through a war zone from the capital Khartoum to Port Sudan along the Red Sea. A U.S. official telling NBC News armed drones protected the convoy and the Pentagon positioning U.S. Navy assets nearby. The evacuees' next stop, safety in Saudi Arabia. Nearly a week after SEAL Team 6 rescued 70 government workers from the U.S. Embassy, this was the first official U.S. civilian evacuation. It's unclear if it will be the last. It took us five hours just to get out of the city. Chris and Denise Bowers made it out without U.S. help. We're really scared, so please say a prayer. Denise is a teacher in Sudan. They took a 23-hour bus ride, a ferry, then another bus to Egypt. The trip interrupted by gunfire and multiple checkpoints. They were looking to make sure that there was no combatants on the on the bus. They were making sure. All the men off, um, screaming in Arabic. We had no idea what they were saying. As the death toll soars past 500, desperate Americans getting out any way they can. Satellite images appear to show buses piling up on Egypt's border. This is an around-the-clock uh, entire department effort. This family made it out on a Hungarian plane. Did you expect more from the U.S. government? Yes. Of course. We, yes. we are so proud of America and we are Americans. We expect that America will look after us. The U.S. says it made every effort to notify Americans about the convoy, but is making no promises to those who missed it, including several thousand Americans who stayed behind. Josh Letterman, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.